Hey guys, it's Con B, and today we are going back to basics. I am doing an updated introduction to Rec Room Studio. So, for those of you who have watched my tutorials, if you're more familiar with Rec Room Studio, this might not be as helpful, although you might learn one or two new things along the way. But this is really for those people starting out, and if you just downloaded the program and you're new and you're not really sure how to use Unity yet, this would be a great tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create Rec Room Studio objects, how to import different assets, as well as a few other bits of information along the way. If you have any questions, please let me know, but this tutorial will cover a lot of the questions that you guys had on my first tutorial and hopefully I'll answer a lot of them along the way. So yeah, let's jump into Studio and get started. Before we hop into Studio, actually, we'll want to just create a room and we're just gonna create a Maker Pen room and we'll call this Rec Room Studio Tutorial that might be taken. And yeah, we'll go over and set up our room and then we'll hop over to Rec Room Studio. I have a lot of things downloaded, by the way, so ignore that, but make sure you're signed on and that you actually have access to Rec Room Studio or else you could play around with it, but you won't actually be able to upload. Um, we'll want to open a room and we're gonna open that room we just created, so let's go find it. There we go, and Make sure if you make multiple subrooms, you click the correct one and hit open room. And then it might take a few moments to update, especially if it's the first time you're using it in Studio. All right, so here we are in our room. I just went ahead and deleted the walls and ceiling. You'll notice that on the left-hand side here, we now have a folder under rooms for our Rec Room Studio tutorial. So the best practice is to right click and create. I usually create three folders. One is prefabs, which is like your objects. Another folder for your materials. And one for maybe sounds. You could also add more. All right, so the first thing you'll want to do is do a quick search for a welcome mat and just go ahead and drag that into your room. You, if you don't have a welcome mat, you won't be able to upload or play locally. There's a few different ways to import assets or just create them within Unity. The first is there's a, a default assets folder that's under your assets. And this comes with all of the Rec Room prefabs that are available. So say, for example, I want to add a palm tree. Re really just any, any of these different terrain assets. There's different types of trees that are included. And we'll just go crazy and add, add a few of those. All right, so there we go. We have trees. You'll notice that these are prefabs because they are, their font is blue. Now, another thing we could do is we could just go over here to the plus and go to 3D object and add a cube. So this would be a good ink saving tip if you want to use just a cube, maybe for a parkour map and you need to save ink. So we could create a cube. We'll duplicate that and make a second cube and just drag that over. So now we have two cubes. And the reason is because the first cube we're going to not touch at all. And the second cube we're going to turn into a Rec Room Studio object. So let's scroll down to the, those folders we made and we're going to drag our second cube into the prefab folder. And there we go, we have a blue font cube. That means that a prefab has been created we could go to our inspector and open up the prefab. And there's two components that we'll want to add. One would be a box collider, which 
there seems to already be one on there. You could also add other types of colliders. You just have to make sure that there's some sort of collider on there. If you do go ahead and use a mesh collider, make sure you click convex. But for now, we're just going to leave our box collider on. You'll also want to add a rec room object script and go back. And now, as you can see, our cube is now an orange font down below under maker pen objects as well as a little circuit board has been added. So if we click on that little circuit board and we go to our circuit editor, you can see that this is what our circuit is. It's just saying that it's a cube object. If you aren't interested in creating interactability with this cube, you could actually just delete this, this circuit board, but for now we'll just leave it in. Another cool thing that you could do in Studio is you could quickly configure your objects. So say we want this to be physical or decorational. You could go ahead and make those adjustments over here, or you can make them in your rec room room with Maker Pen. So that's just cool. Now, if we want to create a material for these cubes, we'll go ahead, right click and create a material. I'll call this red and I'll create one more material and I'll call it green. So for the red object, we'll just want to change the surface surface input to a red color. And for the green one, we'll want to change it to a green color. There we go. All right. So we could just drag these onto our assets. So there we go. We have a red cube and it looks like we'll have to go actually into the prefab for the other one and just create that green cube. All right, so our red cube is up here and that is not a maker pen object, but this one we converted into a maker pen object, the green one. And yeah, let's, let's go ahead. We'll go to the Rec Room Studio tab and we'll hit play. This is going to play this scene that we just created locally, but it will not save. Just keep that in mind. So let's go hit play and we'll go ahead and see what it looks like. All right, here we are in our rec room room that we just have open on our computer. And as you can see, we have the trees that were created as well as these two cubes. If I open my maker pen, you'll notice that we have our red cube that right now is, it seems to be an environmental object. It probably has some sort of collider on it as well as the cube that we can move around and is a rec room studio object. So here we go. We can move the green cube, but we cannot move the red cube. Now, if you want to change the type of physics settings for that cube, you could go ahead and do that as well. We'll make it physical and we'll also make it grabbable. So as you can see, I now have a physical cube, but again, for the red cube, we are unable to edit that because we didn't add the rec room script. We also have these trees, which also have colliders on them, and they are not maker pen objects either because we didn't apply the script. Say you made some changes and you made edits to this room and you want to bring it back to studio because it's not yet saved, you could go ahead and click on this room, send to studio, and that will send all of the updates that you just made in your room back to studio. But we're not going to do that for now. We're just going to go back to studio. Another thing that people ask about is importing assets from outside sources into Rec Room Studio. For today, we're just going to go to the Unity Asset Store hit on our 3D assets and let's hit free assets. All right. So there's several different assets that we can add. We will add, let's see, let's add this cute little skeleton figure. So you'll want to add that to your assets. Hit accept and open in Unity. 
If you do not see that pop-up happen, you could always go to Window Package Manager and we could just look up that item that we downloaded. So in this case, let's go find it. It was called, let's go to Packages, My Assets, and we'll just look up Skeleton. There we go, we have our mini simple characters. We'll hit Download. And then you'll want to hit Import. And these are all the different items that we're going to import into our Rec Room Studio. Let's hit Import, and it might take a moment. All right, so here we go. We have our mini simple characters skeleton demo. You'll want to go to prefabs, drag in one of the objects. So in this case, we're just going to drag in a shield and we'll drag in a character. And you'll notice that these objects are pink because they are not yet using the rec room shader. All right, so the first thing you'll want to do is find your materials folder. Click on those pink materials go over to edit rendering materials convert selected built-in materials to urp hit proceed there we go now we have our wood shield and our skeleton that is now using the urp shader and that is rec room studio lit all right so that is how you would convert the object if you want to bring this in and again create a Rick Room Studio object out of it. What you could do is drag this in. I'm going to unpack the asset, drag it into my Rec Room Studio tutorial. Go ahead and click on it, go into your prefab, and we'll create again a Rec Room object and I'm going to use a mesh collider and it'll be convex. Okay, so there we go. Back out and now we should be able to edit this with our maker pen. Or at least, you know, to be able to scale and move it around. You won't be able to actually edit the actual mesh. Now, one question that I get all the time is how do you import a photo <laughs> into Rec Room Studio? It's actually quite simple. What you'll want to do is create a 3D object. In this case, I'll just create a plane. And this is just a flat object. I'm going to scale it down. And let us go ahead and import a material from our uh, file explorer. All right, so I just gra dragged in this material or photo that I have from a video thumbnail. I'll want to create a material and I'll call this thumbnail. We'll want to drag our picture into the base map and you could just drag that right onto the plane. You could also edit this plane. You might want to change the rotation, but it's really that simple. If you want to create a studio object, again, you just have to drag that as a prefab and add the studio script and a collider. So there we go, we have a photo in Rec Room Studio. Lastly, you might want a material that is from a repository such as Ambient CG. If I explore these assets and we'll just pick this brick here, we'll download that and I'll show you how to use this material in Rec Room Studio. All right, so once you download that texture, you'll notice that there's several different files. For now, we are going to pick Ambient Occlusion, Color, and Normal DX, and we're gonna drag that into our folder. Let's create a material. We'll call it Bricks. We'll want to bring in the red brick to our base map, the normal to our normal, and the occlusion to our occlusion over here. And you could drag that onto one of the cubes. As you can see, we now have the brick texture. And make sure you have this normal map on, so it'll create that almost like a bump, bumpy texture versus a flat texture. 
and that, that's really it. Lastly, once you are finished with your room, you want to go back to the Rec Room Studio tab and hit Upload and Build, and we'll get this saved into Rec Room. You will receive this pop-up and it's just telling you the size of each of the different changes that you've made. Hit refresh and upload. And now we just have to wait for a pop-up to say that our room has been uploaded. So now as we can see our build on RecNet right now it's yellow and that means that it's currently being updated. Do not close your Rec Room project, studio project, because you want to make sure that this properly uploads before you could go in maybe in VR or in another platform and start making edits with all of your changes saved. So as you can see here we now have a pop-up saying build succeeded. The new build is now available to play in a rec room. Hit OK and there you go you have your build. If you double click into this you could see the file size, which could be helpful if you're having some lag issues. And that's basically it. I hope this video helped you guys out on your journey to learning how to use Rec Room Studio. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. It'll help me out and to help me reach my goal of 5,000 subscribers. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Also, make sure to check out some of the other more detailed Rick Room Studio tutorials that I've created, and it might answer some of those questions that you do have. As always, I hope you have a great week, and if you have any ideas for future Rick Room Studio tutorials, please let me know. Alright, see you guys later.